Hello friends, Grandpa Choco here. Now I know, usually on this channel, it's all about wrestling games, all different kinds of wrestling games, but I got this game off of, um, I got this game off of Kickstarter, and I just thought it was unique, and I just was looking for video content, and even though it's not a wrestling uh, game, uh, there is some fighting involved, so it's a bit of a stretch, uh, but this is called Paper Dungeon, and it is Paper Apps Dungeon, and this is the game. This is the game here. You can you can buy just the notebook or you can buy a notebook and it comes with a little golf pencil and with a little dice. This is all you need to play. Uh, definitely something you could throw in a bag, take with you, uh, play out on an airplane or play for traveling somewhere or whatever. Um, but I don't know. I just thought, here's the thing. Uh, I would love to play Dungeons and Dragons, but I have no one to play Dungeons and Dragons with. Uh, seriously, I don't. I would love to play. This kind of gives you the feel of Dungeons and Dragons um, in a little notebook, and you can just play uh, by yourself. So let's check it out. It's by Gladden. Uh, Paper Apps Dungeon, created by Tom Brinton. Special thanks to Alec Morris, funded with help of players like you. Random Seed 000 011 952, um, and more at Gladden Design. So if you want to check more, the, more of this out, you can go to Gladden Design. How to play. Uh, you can get detailed rules at Gladden Design, but the rules are pretty simple. Uh, you roll the dice. If you get an odd number, you can move diagonally. If you get an even number, you can move up and down or left and right. That's it. When you move, you have to move all the spaces that you rolled, and you can only turn if you hit a wall. So this player rolled a six. They can go one. Uh, they can go one, two. They hit a wall. Three, four, five, six. That's where they stop, right there. Uh, must move all the spaces, turning only if hit a wall. Three, interact. Interact in order with any objects in your path. Objects are only used once. Uh, math. When you reach the staircase, so uh, that's your goal as you're going through the dungeon, you're trying to reach the staircase, sum up the numbers for HP and money. If the HP is less than one, tally a death on the final page. Start the next floor with 10 HP and zero cents. Cents cannot go below zero. So, uh, and then on the next page, it tells you what all the different objects are. Uh, on the map. You'll see what this is right in a second here. Uh, the smiley face marks the starting point. The stairs you may decide to exit if you land on or pass through the staircase. Um, if you land on a dot or pass through the staircase. Uh, so if you see this symbol, it makes one sense. If you see this symbol, it's minus three hit points. If you see this symbol, it's plus three hit points. If you see uh, this little treasure box, you roll the dice, and that's how many cents you got. Oh, I would have got six cents there. If you see this little spider with the question mark, you roll, and that's how many HP you lose. And if you see this heart with a, with a roll, um, with a question mark in it, you can roll, and that's how many HP you get. Now, there's also these little symbols, these little jump, like spirals. Uh, you can jump to the other spiral and continue. Only this object may be used more than once. So if you keep going back and forth on those, you can keep going back and forth. If you hit a spider web, uh, you uh, you lose your money. So I would lose two cents there, and I would have to stop. That would be it. That would be done in the game. If I have a key and I go to the lock, I can open that lock and go through. Uh, so now the next page, uh, I haven't done this yet, but this is where you decorate your hero and you can name your hero. And then, uh, the, then we have all the pages here, but I wanted to look at this last page. Uh, so that's the treasure room if you make it all the way through the notebook. But this is the page I was looking for here, the very last one. Uh, tally of deaths. So you can tally your deaths there. You can put your final sense, your final HP, the day your quest began, the day the quest ended, and this notebook belongs to you. So let's, uh, let's f do that first. This is... Uh, 8, 29, 21, as I'm recording this, you might not see it till afterwards. Uh, this book belongs to Grant Bachoco. I love that. That's totally, uh, like, you know, reminds me of being a kid and there was a book that says, you know, this book belongs to Final HP. I, I have not, I haven't thought about my character yet. And, uh, let's see. We'll call him... 
Turmeric, the Brave. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to take up your time drawing. He's got to have, he's got to have long flowing hair though, right? As an adventurer. Um, and then, all right, I said I wasn't going to do this and now I'm doing it. Here's his chain mail, his belt buckle. He looks like he's, he needs to go to a country bar. All right, let's start the first one here. We'll go to, um, here's the other great thing that, you know, that random seed thing at the, on that, on that front page, it says random seed, all the notebooks that are sold, all the dungeon pages, there's like a whole bunch of different combinations and all of them, um, are completely different. So this notebook is not the same as any other notebook. I actually ordered two of these. The other one is uh, across the room, but, uh, I ordered two of these and uh, so no notebook is the same as any other notebook. All right, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see. Hopefully I won't roll the dice. We're starting with 10 HP, zero cents. Here's the little start thing right here. So I'm going to hope that I get a even number because then I can be able to roll and get some money there. I do. I got six. So I am going to go this way. Um... And let's see. So one, two, three, four. I can't go up. I have to keep going this way. Uh, now I can go either go up or down. I'm going to go down. Five, six. So I got two cents there. So we will put that in there. And then we roll again. Uh, we got a four. So now I can go either way. I'm going to go down. One, two, three, four. So close to the HP, but not yet. Five. Now I have to go diagonally. So I either have to go this way or this way. Uh, I'm going to go back up here. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh. And five. All right. So I have the heart HP. So we will roll that. I get four HP. One, two, three, four. Uh, and let's see, I want to, before I roll again, I want to look, I'm trying to get here, right? So I can go on to the next level. Um, but also try and collect as much loot as I can. All right. Uh, so that is four. Now, if I go back that way, I'm going to run right into that spider. I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to go down one, two, three, four. So now I have another coin. Uh, three, so I have to go diagonally. I can go one, two, three, get me down there. I can go one, two, three, get me up there. I think I'm going to do that. One, two, three, because then I'm up in this area. We'll roll again here. Three again, so I got to go diagonally. So one, two, I think I'm going to do that. One, two, three, because I hit a wall. I can turn, pick up another coin. Now I would love to get, I would love to get an even number here to go down. Yes. All right. One, two, three, four. So I got two more hit points there. Up to 16. Two. I think I'm going to go this way. One, two, so I can try and get to this chest. Yes. Oh, but wait. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'd stop right before. One, two, three, four. I gotta be careful of that spider web. All right, I went through the chest, so I'm gonna roll that and I get four more. Two, three, four. So I have eight cents now, or eight coins. Oh, let's see. If I got one, two, three, four, I could get right out of this dungeon five oh, i gotta go diagonally okay one two three i'd have to turn up or turn down three so i could go that way get more uh one two three four five i get there so i think i'm gonna go this way because i would get this 
although I'm, I'm going into spider land here. One, two, hit the wall. Three, four, hit the wall. Five. Uh, so I get to roll again, see how much. Ooh, only one coin there. All right, here we go. Six. Oh, I can't go down. If I go down, I go right into the spider web. So, ooh, I am not, uh, this is not good. I'm a spider web either way. I got a spider web here. I got a spider web if I go down. One, two, three, four, five, spider web. That's it. Well, oh, I can go up. Oh, wait, I could go up. Look at this. I can go up and then back through here. I won't get points for that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. But I will get points for that. All right, I got to get out of here. I am pushing my luck. Two. So there's two more coins. Uh, one, two. So I now have 12 coins. I haven't lost any yet, which is good. Uh, and I'm right here. What I need is one, two, three, four. And I can, I can get out of here. Five. Ah, so that's a diagonal. And I'm right back to where this was again. Let's see. One. Can't go that way. Two, three, four. That leads me into the spider web. I don't want to do that. One, two. That leads me into a spider. Can't do that. One, two, three, four, five. I could do that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So one more token there, one more coin. Oof. Six, dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does that put me in any better position? One, two, three. No, that gets me into there. I think I'm going to try this way. I'm going to go down. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait. Yeah, now six. I can't turn. I have to pick a direction and go. So now I'm here. Five. I have to go diagonally. One, two, three, four, five. I would hit that guy. Let's see, I'm right here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get way bogged down in over here, but that may be a thing to do. Uh, diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. That puts me there. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go this way. One, two, three, four, five. I, get, I don't get anything for interacting with that. <laughs> Four. Um, yipes. I'm so stuck here. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, I really, I think I got myself into a corner here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four. I'm seeing the hell out of this dungeon. Three, diagonal. One, two, three. Now, I do have hit points to spare. I could do that. Uh, what's the other diagonal? There's uh, the guys down here. One, two, three. Uh, two, three. I think I'm going to fight this monster. One, two, three. Now, I'm going to take away three hit points. Oops, one, two, three. And now I'm right there. Whoa. That was a two. So one, two. I can't. I don't get anything for interacting with that again. Four. One, two, three, four. I need one, two, three, four. I need that four again. Please give me that four again. Five. And here I am back again with this five. One. Hit that wall. Two. Three, four, five. It would put me up there. One, two, three, four, 
five. I'm gonna do that. One, wait, one, two, three, changing directions, four, five, back at that coin, which I've already got. Five, dang it. Diagonal again, one, two, wait. So one, two, three, four, five. That would put me back up there. Or one, nope. Uh, two. Well, I would get that coin, but I don't want to lose all my hit points. Uh, let's do it. One, two. I lose three hit points. Three, four, five. Now I'm there. I'm never going to get out of here. One. So that is one move diagonally. Uh, I'm going to go there. Could be a mistake, but I'm just winging it. Five. One, two, three, four, five. That puts me down there. One, two, three, four. No. One. Yeah, I'm going to go here. One, two, three, four, five. So now I'm here. Six. Dang it. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five. I lose three more points. Six. Stairs. We did it. All right. So let me add up here. Oof, I did not do well there. Uh, 5, 10, 12. So I'm ending with 12 coins. And then uh, cancel those out. Uh, those cancel each other out. So I have plus 1. So I was at 11, but then minus 4. So I am down to 7 HP. Yipes. So we go here. And my starting is 7 HP, and then my haul is 12 coins. And that's where we start another thing. All right, uh, what do you think of this? I think it's kind of fun. I think, like, seriously, I think if I was on a plane, uh, I might throw this into my bag, and it would just be a way to, you know, uh, play a couple minutes. I'm sure I would annoy the people next to me by rolling the dice on the table. Um, but you could actually, you could actually roll it on there and... You know, it's pretty good. Uh, definitely keep you entertained. And flipping through this, it looks like there's a couple pages. I kind of don't want to give away, but there's like, you know, a shop. And I don't know. It looks it looks kind of fun. It looks very, very fun. Uh, again, if you want to check this out, you can go to gladden.design. Uh, is that what it is? Glad I may have said gladden.com before. Yeah, so Gladden dot design it's called the paper apps dungeon let me know what you thought of this in the um in the comments and if you're going to check it out i i don't know i'm not going to do a lot of different kind of uh different games other than wrestling games on here but i just thought this was fun and i thought you might get a kick out of checking it out let me know what you think uh thanks for tuning in and uh, be sure to subscribe be sure to like be sure to comment and i will talk to you soon bye everybody mm -hmm.